Hi Virgo, this is your weekly September 6th through September 12th tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Emperor, we have the King of Wands, the Tea of Cups and the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, especially in Aries because we've got the uh, personal Aries card here, the Emperor and the King of Wands which is an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You could be meeting this person at work or your business place. This person could be your uh, boss at work because the Emperor often represents someone with an authority, someone who's uh, like a supervisor, a manager, somebody who is a boss here. Right then the Eight of Pentacles is a work card. So. If you've been talking to somebody at work, if you've been talking to your boss at work, then it could become more than talking this week. <laughs> but um, if it's not somebody at work, then um, the emperor could represent the future husband figure or future significant other figure. And the eight of pentacles in this case is all about working in this relationship. And we've got the king of wands here, right? The king of wands is either a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius you're dealing with, uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is very passionate, very fiery, it's someone who is easy to get up and go. We also have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck, also a fire element, right? And, but to me personally the three of wands is the card of when two people, two parties, have sat down and agreed upon something and now they're starting to do something about what they just recently agreed upon. So if the two of you get together you'll be like okay so what's next for us? What do we do next? We also have the Tea of Cups. I uh, deliberately skipped it. The Tea of Cups is actually the potential outcome. I specifically asked what the potential outcome could be and the Tea of Cups came out so great it's one of the best cards when it comes to uh, love to me personally the two of cups is uh, when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual yep so um, this looks pretty good so far yeah you could be um, like I said getting together with somebody at work or somebody is gonna take control of the situation with the Emperor card and uh, the two of you will take it from there Virgo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person in the near future, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Virgo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with another uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So I think you, your significant other, your boyfriend or your girlfriend is going to be giving you a really big gift this week with this Ace of Pentacles. Why they're giving you a gift? Because it's your birthday, right Virgo? <laughs> Happy birthday if you're celebrating this week. Alright, so the Ace of Pentacles is uh, some kind of an offer or some kind of a chance. It's a golden opportunity offer, but like I said, it could be a gift for your birthday. And uh, it could be related to some kind of a trip, uh, travel plans with the Wheel of Fortune, right? It could be um, like a couple of days or a week or a couple of weeks somewhere, someplace warm, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, other than... Uh, them, your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, giving you a gift, I don't really see anything uh, besides that. A gift could be a proposal, be, perhaps they were waiting for your uh, birthday to make you this offer to move in together or to take your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you, right? And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is all about starting a new cycle right after you, hopefully, <laughs> accept this Ace of Pentacles opportunity, this golden opportunity offer. Alright Virgo, it looks good. It's good to be a, a Virgo this week. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Virgo this week. 
Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or maybe five years ago. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So you most likely are dealing with this uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and it's one of those spreads where it can go vice versa. It could be you reaching out to this uh, fire sign or it could be this fire sign reaching out to you with this page of swords right the page of swords is all about communication uh, it could be a very straightforward and direct message they could wish you a happy birthday you know and uh, that could spark this new cycle between the two of you <clears throat> I don't see any cards suggesting there is going to be a cycle starting but I do see this two of cups here the first card on the left and the Two of Cups is the soulmate, unconditional love to me personally. Two of Cups is all about when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So we also have this Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So uh, if they reach out to you, they'll tell you, you know what, it's been really hard without you. I've missed you. It's been a big burden for you. I think about you all the time. You're on my mind all the time. And by the way, I still love you. <laughs> all right so I think it'll be up to the person on the receiving end of this offer whether they would want to get back together or not but I don't see any rejection cards here so I um, think this is a 50 50 here all right cool Barbie. let's talk about your work your business and your finances Virgo this week we've got the king of Pentacles the six of swords and the magician you could be dealing with another uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I think the King of Pentacles in the spread is you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And with the Six of Swords, you're moving towards the Magician. And I think in this particular spread, uh, this is all about you becoming more active. If you've been sitting on your butt for a while, then this week it's going to change. Or if you've been working um, on something and it you haven't been really successful you will uh, attempt to implement new strategies with the uh, with the magician so the magician realizes that he or she's got all the tools they need at their disposal and you'll start trying things different things right and with the six of swords like I said this is you moving towards that this is a realization that you either need to uh, start doing something or um, get different approaches going in terms of your work your business and your finances well this is a positive spread um, either way something is about to get better right if you go if you were going through a rough patch then the rough patch will be over with the six of swords here all right good spread keep on going Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Virgo. We've got the Page of Swords, then we have the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries Leo, or Sagittarius. So this reminds me of the X spread I did for you a couple of minutes ago. That spread also had this Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. So I think this X is going to be coming back around, or you will be coming back around. And uh, there will be some sort of a communication. Um, We've got the uh, Page of Swords, it's all about a text message or an email or a phone call, right? And uh, we also have the Five of Pentacles in the middle. The Five of Pentacles is the card of somebody being left out in the cold. So whoever is going to be initiating this communication, they will let the other person know that they feel uh, left out in the cold, that they are sorry about what happened, then they miss the other person, the other party. All right, so since this is something unexpected, then chances are they will be reaching out to you. But it could be the other way around. I don't know. You can always leave me a comment and let me know how this plays out for you, Virgo. All right, so uh, happy birthday again. And um, other than that, have a great week, Virgo. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.